come along with me today. These old Central Texas roads are rough sometimes. Not as bad as Oklahoma though. But come along with me today. I know that's a long intro, but let's go let's go look at some equipment. Good morning guys and gals. Hopefully that ain't wiggling too much. I'm trying to record this while I'm driving without actually holding the camera and and everything. So maybe that ain't wiggling too much. But some pretty exciting things are happening right now. So y'all know we've been in search of or in need of a, a skid steer or what I found through my research, what I really would like to have is a, they're called compact track loaders. So it's a, a skid steer, but instead of wheels, it's got tracks on it. Um, you know, everybody I've talked to, they have pros and cons to each one, but for the applications we're gonna be using it in, most everybody has said, hey, just, you know, go the extra mile and get, get the tracks on it, so. So that's where I'm leaning is towards a, a track, compact track loader. And, you know, Eric and I and our whole family are, I don't want to use the word religious, I think a, because religion gets people in trouble. But what we are is we're faithful. And what I mean by that is we believe in God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We believe in the sacrifice that He gave for us on the cross to die for our sins. And we also believe that he, he blesses his children because the Bible tells us that, that you know God blesses his children. And we've already been blessed beyond belief. I mean, you guys spending your time to watch our videos and our content that we create. And you know, a lot of y'all have become like family. You, you comment on every video and, and you know, we look for those comments and we we just appreciate y'all so much the time that, that you want to take your valuable time and, and use that to watch our family and interact with our family and, and we appreciate that. That's been a blessing. The reach we've had on being able to talk about agriculture, about all the things that we do and, and the people we were able to reach, that's a blessing from the Lord. The people that we're able to, to communicate with and talk to on our Keep Praying channel and through our capsule sermons on our, on our other platforms, that's a blessing that God has, has given us. And all that goes into what today's video is about is, you know, the blessing of a compact track loader. So today I'm headed over to Waco, Texas to my nearest Takeuchi dealer. And Takeuchi, you might say, well, what's Takeuchi? You never heard of that. Well, Takeuchi has been in the in the compact equipment business for like 40-something years. They're based out of Japan. That's where Mr. Takeuchi, who started the company, he had a machine shop and he, you know, rural part of Japan, and he saw a need for stuff, so he started making things. He was making parts for other people, and, uh, you know, he, he was the first individual the first company from my understanding to create you know a compact or a mini excavator basically a compact excavator so like you've seen in our past videos that we dug water lines and stuff like that with he created that and then as his business developed he realized that you know I think he saw you know a, a skid steer over here in America and he's like man that's really awesome and he liked it, but he thought what would make it even better is if we put tracks on it. So Takeuchi was the first company to put tracks on a skid steer, on a, on make a, a compact track loader. So they've been in the game for a while. Now, one thing, I have had a chance to kind of do my research on them and things like that. They make a very robust machine. It, it's a, a little bit bigger as far as the, the cab and the, just the overall size of the machine. They're not the strongest out there, you know, I mean, in the, when you compare apples to apples, you know, the same horsepower, you know, machine that, that's basically in the same weight class, they weigh about the same as the other ones. You know, they're 
their lifting capacities may be a, you know, a few hundred pounds lighter than some of the other, you know, manufacturers out there. So, but it, they're, they more than do the job that we're gonna need them to do. And they make quite a few attachments. They are compatible with all the other brands' attachments as far as I know. You know, anybody that makes something for a compact track loader or a skid steer will fit on their equipment also. So, um, but we've been in talks with them and just to be completely transparent with you guys, we've been in t talks with another, not a manufacturer, but a dealer group that, that carries a different brand and the dealer themselves, we've been talking with those guys. But today we're going over to look at Takeuchi and the, I'm probably not going to say this right, Shay, but the Shay's, Shay is kind of the, I guess this region or this area of the United States kind of sales manager, you know, product manager. So he, he's going to meet us there. He lives in Oklahoma. He's going to come down and meet me there, go over the equipment. Their, their biggest concern is that we're comfortable in the piece of equipment that, that we're looking at. They don't want us to just, you know, if, we, if we're able to work out a partnership between the two of us, they don't want it to just be, you know, us doing it because and them doing it to get exposure through us. They want to make sure that we're satisfied and that we're going to enjoy the machine because that's really all it's about, guys. Is we're not going to put out fake content. We're not going to put out stuff that we don't want to, that that's not genuine. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to get a machine that I'm not going to enjoy. Clancy's not going to be able to operate. Erica or Kylie won't be able to use easily and, and confidently. So that's why I'm coming today. I'm going to come and, and take. Oh. I've got a little wiggly on me there. I wanted to come over and take a look at it and be like, okay, yeah, I like this. We can make this work. You know, and this is going to do, this, this is what we're looking for. So come along with me today. These old Central Texas roads are rough sometimes. Not as bad as Oklahoma, though. But come along with me today. I know that's a long intro, but let's go. Let's go look at some equipment. Alright guys, so I'm in a Takeuchi, I don't forgot the number on it, it's a 10, whatever that is. So it's about a 7, let's turn this idle up right here. Over here, I'm going to do a little play-in right here. trying to do here is doing a little plan is uh to get a feel for the machine I'm trying to do a little leveling here we're at this uh, Kirby Smith equipment I'm trying to level out some of this big rock Well, 
I got to do a little playing here. Um, first impressions, which really this isn't my first impression because I actually got to drive one of these all a week or so ago. Clancy and I came over here on a rainy day. And I got to just barely move around a little bit in the yard in one. Um, actually, when I got here, the machines that they had here, they only had a couple of them. And they were actually sold units, so I didn't really want to play too much in somebody else's piece of equipment. So, um, first impressions, the cab is super big. It's got a got a good air conditioner so far I mean it's not a really hot day but I'm very cool in here you know I'm not I'm not hot or sweating yeah, especially if I was you know I've been getting in and out of it looking at other equipment and stuff and it's uh, the air conditioner does good the controls are very sensitive they are true just straight hydraulic controls you know they control want to show you all this hopefully I don't get in trouble but I watched the sales guy do it so it's probably all right I mean if I do this whoop, let's do this let's cut the hydraulics off but see there can y'all see that see those little valves that that runs the valves so it's not like it's running an electric solenoid or something that's telling a hydraulics to work it's it's running the hydraulics straight from there kind of so i'm sure somebody's going to tell me how i'm trying to stick this back in hang on we'll do that in a minute but anyways so first impressions it, it's really very comfortable in here i got lots of room here my old belly oh turn back around here but my old belly right here got plenty of room not even sucking in so it's got plenty of room, plenty of overhead space in here where my hat, even when the door's raised up, no problem. Lots of visibility. I've, I've seen some other people talk about how it wasn't quite as visible. You know, the visibility wasn't there as, like it was in some. I'm not seeing that, guys. I mean, I, I can see anything I want to see. It's got a backup camera. Um, pretty nice. The door is going to take a little getting used to to get it open. I'm going to show you here. Let's see. Let me put you down right here. So to get the door open, you grab right over here, and then you're going to pull kind of in and back at the same time, or you can grab down at the bottom and at the top. So uh, let me turn the hydraulics off, turn it down a little there. So when I grab this, I'm going to kind of pull back, and you just kind of got to go with it. You know what I mean? Just kind of... But still, see, look, I got six inches above my head there. So this will raise up, let me out, cut her off. Good to go. So I want to show you all the other thing I was looking at while I was here. Let me crawl out of this. Pull the door down on it. Here's the other things we've been looking at is Mini X is while we're here. Kind of one of those deals, I don't really need a Mini X, but I mean, there's all kinds of things you can find to do with one, right? You can do anything you want to with it. Might tear down a house or something, who knows? But all right, well, catch y'all later.